the Selenko Whiteout 1820. They built a great thing in the Whiteout. We love the tech you can get with it, interchangeable weight in the handles, the foam in the frame, the liquid crystal tech in terms of carbon fiber as well. You've got a three and nine. It's a great racket, but they've listened to the community and built one even better. This 1820 Whiteout is brilliant in terms of it offering that little bit more control, slightly lower launch angle, while still keeping that really nice feel on contact. It's got to be up there, guys. Control and feel, racket of the year. Let me know what you think. Hi, guys. Welcome to another racket review of all things tennis. We have the new Selinko Whiteout 1820. Uh, with me today, uh, we also have the Selinko Whiteout 1619 and Jamie, who currently uses it. Um, you've been using Selinko Whiteout now for all the season, really. Gone yeah, the... whole season. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's been great. It's, yeah. it's pretty much meant that it's, it's comfortable to play with. Yep. I'm not having any issues in terms of forearms or anything like that. Everything's nice and steady going back in. Don't have to do too much with it. Which That's, is nice. the yeah. That's the idea of tennis. Yeah. <laughs> the less you can do, the better yeah. it will be. Um, how did you compare the 1820 to the 1619? Uh, so for me, I quite like a little little full Western forehand. So right. the, I struggled a little bit with the 1820, yeah. um, but the 1619 for me was just a little bit a little bit steadier. Is that because when you come across the line of the ball, yeah. you've got a bit more open string pattern to give revolutions and send it over there? Yeah, net. that one was just, yeah. just pushing it a little bit too long. Yeah. Um, but in terms of any any short balls with that one, yeah. I just found a little bit more comfortable. Well, nice. Tons of control, right? Yeah, loads. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You can put it where you want, really, yeah. can't you? Yeah, I know. That's, like, why, that's what I enjoyed. Um, yeah, again, anything short with the 1820 was just it's just slapped away quite nicely. Yeah. Um, look, these rackets are phenomenal. They really are. They're foam filled as well, so it's super comfortable. Um, paint job obviously looks stunning all white. I mean, the blackout looks stunning as well. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I mean, I would prefer to put the black one in the player's racket and the white one in the other one. That's what I would prefer. Yeah, it's like a little, little stealth racket. Yeah, a little, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which, 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 which um, but you can't, you can't win at everything. But the 1820 is, um, is outstanding in terms of control, uh, feel, touch, serve. Again, plenty of pop on it. Um, so we've got it strung up in Slingo Confidential. Okay, is that the first time you've used Slingo Confidential? Yeah, that's the first yeah. time I've used that one. Normally use Hyper G. Hyper G, yeah. Um, but no, I quite. Quite nice, quite nice, yeah. nice little soft string that one. Quite, quite, quite nice. It's funny you say soft because it's not soft. Is it not? No, but yeah. it plays soft. It's, really, yeah. it's, it's one of the best strings that I've ever hit because um, tension maintenance on it is outstanding. Grip and spin on it's fantastic. And comfort is again, is, is out of this world for this type of poly. You know, I've had guys come to me with arm problems before and, and they still want playability. I have put Slinker Confidential and started in a hybrid with it with a softer poly in the crosses and they, and they loved it and they've gone to a full bed and, and, and they still love it so the way it plays is is, is really outstanding and i know tour level players who who use it who aren't who are sponsored by the companies but then they use then they use the uh, confidential okay so the confidential in it gave an absolute ton back to the racket into the ball yeah um serve do you think what was the difference do you think do you think um a bit more accuracy with this yeah a lot more accuracy with that one yeah yeah pretty much it's like it's like it's on a string yeah. put it exactly where you want it yeah um that one though is a bit more spin yes so if you want to hit that kick serve my second serve kick serve with this one yeah is was popping yeah and this one's a bit flatter yes first um, serve flat down the backhand so you're facing some big serves today obviously yes yeah um did you find that the 1820 was a bit more stable on the return or yeah i think the the 1820 against the big serves was just i'm just able to get it back into play and then again it's on that string put it yeah. where i want it go from there sort of chisel it back in exactly and, and yeah. get a little, little point. shovel in there um, and <laughs> dig, <laughs> dig out a few slices um on the drop shots and things like that do you do any finessing sort of the net uh tried a few with that yeah. one I know it's not your strong point. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Tried a few. I mean, on the camera earlier, a little tweener was in there. So. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make sure we get that on there as clip well. Clip that. Yeah, we'll clip <laughs> that. Um, so, um, would you say that there's any, all the negatives? Would you say about this racket? Is there anything that you say that you, that you wouldn't that you wouldn't put someone in this for a reason? I mean, for me, I play with a lot of spin. Yeah. Um, so I mean, like we said about that, that second serve, kick serve is my that's my that's my go-to that one. So with that one, I, I struggled a little bit with it. Um, but I mean, if you're a club level player who just wants to put the ball exactly yeah. where you want it to go, that's that's yeah. that's the way to go. The good thing about these slinker rackets is, is they've put them so um, the 305, which is great. I think that they're pretty much designed to be modified. Um, we have butt caps here that you can take out and add weight on um, on the side. Really easy to put lead on. Um, but I think I think you know this is a racket I, I could use. You know I could pick one up tomorrow and, and play with it in the 1820 or 1619. To be honest with you, I would, I'd be quite 
I'd be quite happy with both. Um, but I would be able to, I would put some lead up here and I would change the butt cap out for the 10 gram butt yeah. cap just to give it a bit more. Yeah. Wow, if I'm coaching every day though, I'd probably keep it as it is. Yeah. I think that's just one thing I like. Smooth, easy, easy the swing. 18, 19, a few more strings, a little yeah. bit more weight. Yeah. Quite nice one on the That'd hand. be good, wouldn't it? I'll go straight through. Yeah. Um, just here with Shai. What do you think of the paint job on well, the that, that Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. The white one. Yeah. Very yeah. beautiful racket. I like the design. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, the boxy beam, you like that? Sort of the square sort of beam. Yeah. Racket. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty good. Sort of a player's racket, isn't it? Yeah. Look like a player racket. Yeah. yeah that's. Nice. When I saw it, your serve went well with it. Yeah. That. The serve. That's what I said. The serve and the return. But the, return the, heat, good, yeah. the, the heating part was, wasn't that nice. Could be the strings as well. Yeah. Very stiff string. Yeah. Very stiff string. In general, who would you recommend this racket for? Oof. For a player or for the player, advanced. Yeah, yeah, advanced. I think yeah. very advanced. Like maybe, maybe a pro even. Yeah, maybe even a pro. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Thank Thanks you. So what do you like about it? I like this one. The, the, the weight feels good. Uh, the balance across the racket in itself is is good. Obviously, paint job is nice and nice and clean with it all white, and then obviously the bit of black, bit of black on uh, on the sides, and obviously the bumper strip. But no, it's a nice feel. Um, Pretty good off the serve, nice and nice and loose. Get so lots of pop. It? Yeah, it's a lot more yeah. controlled, very controlled. A bit more, more, more bite on the ball. A lot you more spin. Really missing with that. No, no, it felt good in the, in the slice and coming forwards. Felt, also felt very nice with it. So a dirty slice. Though. Yeah, exactly. Nip yeah. Down the line. You got to hit a few uh, dirty slices every now and again. Yeah. Low to the feet. <laughs> Um, I think, I think I don't know about you, this, um, it's an 1820, a lot of people think 1820 is for advanced players, but I think anyone can really use this one. Yeah, I think this one, obviously a string pattern makes a little bit of difference, but for this one personally, yeah, it doesn't have to be aimed at advanced players. Even um, yeah, intermediate players, improved players could easily use this racket. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it, it gives you uh, a, lot of, a lot of feel, a lot of control, it allows you to do a bit more with the racket and more with the ball which is obviously as an, an intermediate player, you want to start to experiment with things. So that, that would be also an ideal racket for them. Perfect.